We need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. If we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. What's going on you guys? So today we're going to talk about bar path significance and we're going to relate it to your compound lifts. So a lot of people, they say they have bad days in the gym or they're just not as strong, but a lot of the times it's actually because your bar path is off. And the main reason because of that, when you're taping your smooth motion, this is actually where, a lot of times it's not a strength reason or a lack of energy, it's mainly just a form mistake. So when your form breaks down, that actually contributes to a bad rep. And what I mean by a bad rep is, what you normally can do is today for some reason you can't do it. And a bar path, is exactly, you try to keep your bar path the same throughout the entire motion because when it changes, you change your entire anatomical structure, <laughs> I think that's how you say it, and that's what's actually like screwing up your entire rep. So let's get into each, we're gonna do deadlift, squat, bench, and overhead press. So let's get into each one of those compounds and I'll explain the main mistake of your bar path and why it may be contributing to a bad rep. So for the squat, today I'll just show a high bar for example. So you get into your normal position. So for a normal rep, you're trying to keep the bar going straight and keep your spine as neutral as possible. Or if you're going low bar, you might have a slight bend forward. But today we'll do the high bar. So when you're going down, the common mistake for bar path is people tend to lean forward. And you notice the bar, it came forward with me. So now my back is leaning forward and it's taking actually also a little bit off my legs. It's turning into more of a good morning. So that's actually really affecting my rep. See, when you're doing, uh, when you're doing a squat, you want your form to come down and you want the bar to come exactly where it came down. So when you fall forward, you may fall back, whatever it is, if the bar is falling forward because your spine is falling forward, or if you're falling back just as a balance issue, the bar is changing, and that's gonna change the way your quads are activating, your hamstrings are activating, your entire muscles that are engaged in this exercise, because your bar has changed its rhythm, it's changing actually the muscles that are being, ex being worked. So it's screwing up your form and affecting your rep. For example, for bench, you get, in your, you get in your normal routine, you come up. Now for bench, a lot of people, they go down and they come right back up, which is exactly what a good rep is. But a lot of people, sometimes they struggle. A main reason for bench is they lift their butt off the bench and that's actually changing their motion because now they have to change how the bar is coming up because they've changed, they've taken their lower half out of the motion. So now you're going down and maybe you're coming too far forward, maybe you're coming too far back. It's changing the activation of your shoulders, the activation of your chest, your triceps now are differently involved. So when you're coming down and you're coming right back up, if you're bringing the bar too forward, if you're bringing it too back, it's changing how the muscles that you're used to training for, for optimal purposes. So basically when you come down too far, now you're maybe taking your shoulders out of the motion a little bit, or if you're coming back, you're maybe putting too much emphasis on your shoulders. So mainly, especially for me, bench is one of those things I notice very, very like strictly when I'm doing my reps. If I go down and it's not exactly the right path, it's gonna completely screw up my rep because I'm just, the muscles that I need to actually get me fully up there, they're not exactly how I want them to be working. So it's screwing up my entire form and that's actually making my reps much weaker. Now for the overhead press, it's a similar concept as the bench, meaning if you bring a lot of people, they'll start, they'll come back too far and they're trying to come back way too far, which is putting their shoulders at a compromised position, or maybe they're going too far forward, and now a lot of the pressure is actually on your triceps, more tricep activation from the very bottom. So, your normal motion, whatever you do, you're having fun, but if you go too far forward, now it's all on your triceps, or you go too far back, a lot on your shoulders, too much on your shoulders, you're not able to get that chest activation, that shoulder development, that tricep stimulation, all those things are being affected just because your bar path literally could change that much and it's taking your entire rep into a different atmosphere because you're doing it completely differently than what you're accustomed to. So, like I said for the squat, you're coming down, maybe you go too far forward, too far back. For bench, you bring it too far forward, too far back. Same with this concept of the overhead press. You go too far forward, maybe lean too far back. It's literally changing your entire form and that's what's breaking down your strength because you're not able to put it up as you normally are accustomed to. And the deadlift. Same concept, a little bit, we're coming from the ground now. So maybe you're used to having a bar, maybe so we'll say halfway on your feet, like it's slowly above half of your foot. 
sometimes you're doing your rep and you don't even notice, you bring the bar close because now you're about to explode. But now the bar, look, the bar is now practically touching my shins. I just brought the bar at a completely different bar path. Or maybe you came up too far, you're rolling a little bit, and now it's too far ahead. See, forward, now my back is already bending, or I come too far in, and now my hips are a little more up. So it really affects your entire motion. Because if I'm used to coming up from right here, and I'm coming right up the entire motion, the bar just stayed the same path the entire way. Whereas I come up here, or now I'm struggling, oop, I just brought the bar to my shin. That just screwed up my entire rep. So bar path significance is literally the main thing of having a good rep, and the major contributor to bad reps. A lot of times you're not having a bad day in the gym, it's more just you're, you're struggling with your actual form. So I'm not saying your form is gonna break down all the time, and I'm not saying form breakdown is necessarily a bad thing for your training because it happens when you're especially going heavy, but bar, you have to be aware of your bar path because if you literally can fix your bar path by that much of a difference, it can literally change your entire workout because you're gonna be either stronger or you're literally just activating a different set of muscles because the way they work is literally gonna to lead to the result you're looking for. Because you have to understand how your body is performing the actual movement. So that's just a little, a pretty big tip video because it's really important. So make sure you like this video, check us out on musclestrength.com, wherever you wanna look. Anabolic aliens, peace. I'm bad at talking. Later. Good. Leave me alone. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> 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 <laughs>